Hi, please tell me about yourself. Well, didn't you read my resume? Okay, um, let's talk about your weaknesses. <clears throat> I can't think of any right now. Makes sense. Um, why should we hire you? I don't know. You need someone, I need money. Isn't that obvious? No, who asks these questions? Oh my God. <clears throat> what did you like the least about your previous position? Oh my God, I hated the job, the company, people who work there. They just didn't appreciate how great I am. <clears throat> uh, and why have you decided to apply for this position? I was looking through job ads and I saw this one and I was like, let's apply. Hi, thank you for taking the time to meet with me. I'm grateful for the chance to discuss what I can bring to this company. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Please tell me about yourself. I began my career in retail management, but I've always been drawn to marketing. And by implementing a couple of new marketing strategies in my previous company, I was able to increase revenue by 39%. Sounds great. Can you tell me about your weaknesses? I sometimes find it hard to delegate responsibility and sometimes it feels like I have to do everything by myself in order to come to the best result. But I'm working on this by setting up more meetings with the teams to make sure that everyone is on track and to make sure that I answer all of the questions and set the right mood for everyone involved in the project. Out of all candidates, why should we hire you? Thank you for asking this question. Uh, I love what your company is doing and I really like your previous marketing campaign, but I think you're missing out on targeted ads on Facebook and Instagram because I really see this is where your audience is and uh, a couple of your competitors have tried this technique and I see it's working for them because they're doubling down on their budgets. So I was really thinking, what if we try to do the same but from a different angle that is more consistent with your branding strategy? Anyways, if you hire me, I would love to test a couple of ideas that I think will be able to help increase the revenue. Hey guys, welcome to Lingua Marina. Today we're gonna to practice words and phrases that you might hear or use during a job interview. I've been in the US for over six years and one of my main tasks is to hire a team. So I'm gonna to talk to you from an employer perspective for things that I'm looking in the candidates to hire, for things that are red flags for me. So if you're interested in getting a job in an English speaking country, whether it's remote or not, please watch this video up to the very end. I think it's gonna be very useful. And I'm also going to mention ways that you can get proper education to get a job in an English speaking company. But before we start, please don't forget to subscribe. Starting the interview. We only have a couple seconds to make the first impression and Normally, these days, most of the first interviews take place on Zoom or Google Meets or whatever the company is using. And if it's an offline job, then you might have more interviews in the office. And it also depends on the company. For example, I'm a YouTuber, I'm running a small company compared to like Google, Airbnb, and we only have an interview with some of my teammates, then a task task, and then an interview with me. That's it. Companies like Google might have eight interviews with eight different people. So it's very important that you make the right impression. And you can start with one of these phrases. Pleased to meet you. I really appreciate being considered for this role. Thank you for taking the time to meet me. So the thing is, most of the interviews would still start with small talk, which we love, which we practiced on this channel. And uh, you might be asked questions like, how are you, what's going on? So the thing is, like with any small talk, don't go into too much detail. Like if your kid is sick, if you're sick, uh, don't start this like, oh, my kid is sick. I feel so bad. No, 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 no. Like your answer would be, I'm doing great. I'm so excited about this interview. Like keep it short, but be nice. <music> Guys, 
Guys, I know how complicated it is to find the right job that is also well paid. And one of the platforms that actually helps you with that is sponsoring today's video. Meet Careerist.com, an online learning platform. Even if you don't have any experience in tech, Careerist will teach you everything you need to know and help you land a well-paid job in one of the happiest professions in the US, software testing, also known as QA quality assurance. Careerist.com graduates are already working in 700 plus companies in 39 different states. Careerist suggests that you start with a basic course, manual QA, quality assurance. You don't need any background in tech to take it because the material is very simple and uncomplicated. Salaries for Careerist graduates range from $65,000 a year to $100,000 a year. Careerist also offers advanced courses in QA automation and sales engineering, for which some experience in tech is needed. Students also get access to the simplified job search system, the job application service. It finds relevant job openings and accelerates the job application process by up to five times. Careerist is a great place to start your career in tech. You'll attend live classes and you can also watch the recordings. You get one-to-one -one guidance from a personal mentor. You get an internship to practice what you've learned. And you get support at all stages of the program until your victory. For careerist graduates, the average time to get a job is two to four months if you follow their instructions carefully. Do not miss the opportunity to start earning 65K to 100K in a few months. Follow the link in the description to get 10% off your desired course. Thank you careerist.com for sponsoring today's video. A lot of interviewers like to ask you about your education. Here are a couple of helpful phrases. I hold a master's degree in physics from Stanford University. I have a master's degree in physics. I graduated from Stanford with a master's degree in physics. Now, of course, it's very important that you're able to describe your skills, what you can do as a professional. I am qualified in physics, computer science, etc. I have a particular interest in social media marketing. I have a NIELTS certificate. My score is 8.0. I think the most valuable skill I have is being creative. My strengths are creating videos coming up with catchy thumbnails, coming up with intriguing titles. But this is like if you're interviewing for a YouTube manager or a social media position, you would need to insert something that relates to you. I have a flair for, or I am good at making videos. Now, of course, your experience is basically what matters the most. As an employer, I don't, well, I do care about education because it provides great foundation. And if it's a great university, I know the person likes to succeed. Uh, the person likes to take tests. The person is academically capable. But when I'm looking for someone to join my team, I look for personal skills. Like if you say something bad about your previous company or uh, you say something bad about your ex co-workers, this is a huge red flag for me. Like I would never hire someone who says bad things about other people because I know I'm going to be in that position in two months when this person decides to quit and would say bad things about me. So never, ever, ever say bad things about your previous company colleagues. And ideally, of course, you wouldn't discuss politics, religion, gossip during your interview. Now let's talk about the experience, something that really, really matters to me. If the person is good, and this is what I'm trying to understand during the interview, the next thing is, of course, skills. After understanding that I have a good person in front of me, of course, I'm going to ask about experience because it's really important. And uh, if the person has worked in a similar position, that means it's going to be very easy for them to integrate in my company. I worked for Google as a software engineer. Oh, and by the way, if you guys ever want to work for me or LinguaTrip, I always post jobs if we have any openings. I always post them 
on my Instagram story on my Instagram in story so please the link is down below go ahead and subscribe and hopefully some of you are gonna be working with my team as well I worked in and then you insert a sector I worked in marketing for five years I was promoted to the CEO position. I have five years experience in social media marketing. I have a proven track record in managing teams. I led five marketing campaigns in this industry. Now let's look at a couple more examples of an interview. Hi Marina, I am Sarah, Head of Marketing. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Thank you for seeing me today. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your experience? Great, uh, well, I just graduated from college last year with a degree in business. I have completed my internship during the last semester. I've learned so much there and it really gave me a good feel for sales. Internship is when a university or a college student works for a company and does a job that is related to their degree. And it is a very important experience for students because you can practice what you just learned. That sounds like a great program. What were your responsibilities? I was mainly responsible for client satisfaction. I was constantly jumping on calls with them and uh, I was also responsible for generating reports about their satisfaction. It really gave me this unique perspective of what a customer wants. And I got to know the company from the ground up. From the ground up means complete all aspects. It seems like you don't have too much experience in the field, which is fine. But what are some of the things you think you could bring to the table? To bring to the table to contribute something of value. As an employee, I want to be valuable for the company and I also want to bring my unique experience to help the company grow. To start with, I consider myself a very fast learner. By the way, when you give yourself a compliment, make sure that you come up with an example, with a real life anecdote why you're a fast learner. For example, when I was doing my internship, the company asked me to create a YouTube video for them. So I went on YouTube, researched how you create a video, and um, I started a video blog for them. Uh, I created the whole strategy, I created all the scripts, I made the videos myself and I also posted them. So when I left, they had the whole action plan of how they can continue doing this. See, I gave them the real life anecdote. And I was also very proactive in my role. Proactive means taking steps without major guidance or supervision. So I decided to be proactive and I actually told the company management that, that they should also start a TikTok account and an Instagram account because they're a B2C company. B2C means that they sell to individual customers and social media is the best way to reach their target audience. Great. How do you overcome any challenges you come across? I honestly like challenges because they take you to the next level. Can you give me an example? When we were implementing, to implement means to put into action. When we were implementing the social media strategy, we realized that if I'm the face of the company, what happens when I leave? So I actually came up with a character for the company and uh, they started using a costume to create all of their videos. And now you don't have to have a particular person who is making all the videos for the company. You can just have this character. Anyone can wear this costume and create all the videos. I really love challenges because they actually bring you to the next higher level. See, again, a real life anecdote. Don't just say, I'm proactive, I'm amazing, I'm the best worker. Prove it, prove it, prove it. Ideally, by the way, with numbers, if you have any numbers, like, let me give you this example. So basically, I started their social media strategy with zero subscribers everywhere. And after my three months internship, we had 15,000 subscribers on YouTube, 100,000 subscribers on TikTok, 5,000 subscribers on Instagram, and most importantly for the company's management, we were able to generate around $10,000 per day selling on those social media platforms. See, numbers, numbers. They could be small compared to other companies, but when you see the progress, you can also add like that was a 200% growth, 300% growth, 
This is all really important because it shows real results. Well, Marina, that all sounds great. You will most likely hear back from us by the end of this week. All right, thanks for the opportunity. I'm really looking forward to connecting with you soon. And also the end of the interview is a great chance for you to ask questions like, what does the process look like? Or can I ask you a question about your policies regarding uh, employees having their own YouTube channels? I don't know, like whatever you wanted to ask. And it's better to have a question, at least one question. It just shows that you're interested in the company, interested in the process, because if you don't have any questions, you're like, ah, no, I think you told me everything. I don't know, you want to start the dialogue. You want to be proactive. You want to show this interest. So sometimes the interviewer would ask you, do you have any questions for us? And I would ask, have you guys thought about throwing an event for your customers? Because I see how loyal your fan base is and I think they would really, really appreciate an offline in-person event to meet the company's officials. I know, a suggestion. Have you ever considered this? Just to show that you're on it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video up to the very end. I hope it was useful for you. I really enjoyed giving you some tips as a person who is actively uh, hiring new members of the team. I hope you enjoyed this. Please practice these phrases. Please practice some words that you've learned from this video. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and to follow me on Instagram. I'm Lingua Marina there. See you very soon in my next videos. Bye.